Hey, hey, friends. Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Trina, and I am the owner here at Trina Click Designs, where I teach in... Teaching what, y'all? I've done messed my whole thing up. Where I teach other creative ladies how to cut, paint, and sell their own wooden door hangers. Oh, Lord have mercy. Okay, but today I'm going to be showing y'all this really cute cutout that one of my insiders sent me. Hey, Chris. Um, and I'm going to paint it with y'all, so I'm going to show y'all a quick and easy way to paint a cute flamingo. Y'all, how stinking cute? And you're probably wondering, okay, so what's the little cutout cut out for? Y'all, she did my initials. She did my initial C to put in that little cutout. How stinking cute is that? So we're gonna be painting this today. Um, if you wonder where I got this from, her name is Miss Teresa and she owns Cut and Dry. So if you haven't checked her out yet, check her out. She just got her new laser or she just got her laser. So she's able to do the blanks for y'all. Um, she's also gonna be one that I'm going to be partnering, partnering up with in the future to do some of my own, to offer blanks for some of my templates and for my like inside scoop group. Thank you so much for sprinkling y'all. Y'all are amazing. See, I didn't even have to say nothing. Y'all are already on the ball. So thank you so much. Um, so yeah, so hit that little button down below and sprinkle me across the Facebook world. I would appreciate that. So we're gonna get started. I've got some carousel pink and then I've got some pink polish. Deca Art and Apple Barrel. Then for her little legs, y'all, I've got this Coral Bright Salmon and then this um, Apricot. Gonna do this probably a little bit different. Hello, Miss Deb. Hey, Miss Shirley and Miss Cheryl. Michelle, thank you so much, girlfriend. Miss Donna. So, y'all, I'm having to get some things going. Sprayed upstairs because it's raining here. And I've got items from my live sale that's got to get shipped out. And so if I start acting all fool on y'all, it's probably because the fumes are, are getting to me. Do not advise anybody to do this. Do not ever spring inside of a closed area. It is not safe at all. All right, so we're going to get started. Um, I'm going to go ahead, of course, and put my pink onto my flamingo. Let me get one of these dirty brushes all cleaned up. Hey, Miss Faye. Hey, Mona. Mona? Is it Mona? Hey, Rhonda. Hello, Miss Mary girl. All right, so the other day I did post on my Facebook page that if you had any business questions to ask or any kind of painting questions, I'm just going to dump that on the floor because it's already dirty and I did have two people ask a question so the first question is Miss Jerry she asked what is your best time saver tip okay so I guess this can go for a lot of things depending on what you're trying to like do to save time and what it's for so with business wise and door hanger world wise um, if you do orders and you paint a whole lot of the same design. I always say to batch paint, meaning cut all of those orders out for that same design and put them in a line on a table. And like with this flamingo, I'm gonna paint the body, the body first. So I would paint the body, then I would go to the next one, paint the body, and so forth with however many I've got. So batch painting and batch cutting will save you time on that process. Um, with shipping, same thing. Um, when you're shipping items, go ahead and, I like to ship all in one day. If I'm gonna ship, I like to go ahead and get all of my shipping done instead of having to ship one or two this day and ship one or two that day. What I like to do is I will go ahead and do one day for shipping. So, like, if even if you order on a Monday, most of the time, 
My shipping date won't be until Thursday or Friday because I like to get them all at one time. To me, that helps save a little bit of time with that process. Um, another thing that you can do like to save time and stuff when you're working is to make sure that you're saving certain times to do certain certain things. Um, taking pictures. If you take pictures, set a day that you're going to do nothing but for you know that first hour, take pictures of all of your painted items that you got instead of having to paint one item then take it out, take a picture, you know, just kind of like batch everything, y'all. Instead of just batch painting, batch cutting, batch shipping, do um, do it on certain days. And like with, this pink's got clumps in it. Clump all in it. I'm just going to leave it. Um, what was I saying? Good Lord, I lost my train of thought because these clumps. Oh, making a schedule. That is the one thing that has helped me more than anything with my business is making a schedule to do things on certain days. Um, always be mindful of that schedule that you make, though, and don't overdo it. We're putting so many things to do on one day because all that's still going to do is just overwhelm you and you're not going to get half of it done. And then you're going to feel like making a schedule and list didn't really help you out. But if you make it to where you know you can do certain things on certain days and you don't overdo it, making a list and a schedule will help you out tremendously when it comes to your business. So I do highly recommend trying that. Um, so that's pretty much all I got to kind of like for time savers and stuff. Um, and then Miss Shelly asked, did you make a lot of cutouts when you first started? Then painted them up and sold. Or you just made as you got orders? Okay, so what happened with me, Miss Shelly, is we did a couple designs we started this business in the fall. So we did a couple of fall designs, of course, a pumpkin. Um, and then we posted them. And then we started getting orders for those designs. So what I like to do is come up with a few designs for each holiday. Um, I used to call them collections. Like my, for instance, let's just say, let's use two... To, um, 2021. So I would say I will represent it like on my business page as hey guys, check out our new collection for our fall 2021. Or, or check out our new selection, our fall 2021 collection. Um, and then most of the time people would order from our collection. And we will do that for fall, Christmas, Halloween, Easter, you know, Valentine's. Each holiday, we would have a new selection, and I always try to come up with at least, at least like three or four new designs for each holiday. And that's mainly how I would take orders. Um, I did do some custom orders as well. Um, and with my Etsy shop, I had an Etsy shop, I always kind of just did orders um, did like custom listings on there for people. So if they wanted to order something that wasn't on my shop or in my shop, you know, I, I had a listing for that. So I would, um, that would also like help me be able to get in different designs as well. So I always looked at my, my custom orders as giving me a chance to come up with a new design. I'm just adding a little bit of that lighter pink on his tail here, just to kind of give a kind of two shades. Now I'm going to add some just going down his neck. And 
then I'm gonna just blend it in, y'all, with the other color. There's a clunk. Um, so that's the way I've always done it with my Etsy and when I did orders. So I think that answered your question. If there was one popular design, um, I would do maybe like two or three and then say, hey guys, uh, check out our new design for fall 2021. I have three available now ready to go out the door. If you would like this, if you'd like to grab one, comment below, you know, and I would have people commenting on it that, you know, they wanted it. So that's a really good way to to like get your sales out there with your new designs. But basically, really, y'all, Miss Sheila, is after a uh, after a while, I did not hardly have time to come up with new designs because it was always custom orders, and that kind of kept me busy. And then most of the time, once you start designing, you will figure out what sells and what doesn't sell because most of the time, if you get a really good design and it's popular and it sells really good, you're gonna be stuck doing that design for a while. Um, or at least that's what happened to me. So, but, yes, I'm gonna add a monogram. This has the letter C that goes in the center here, y'all. Isn't this so cute? I just love it. All right, so I am going to get let me see about this bubblegum pink. We're gonna add dots. We're gonna add big old dots to this flamingo here. All of my stinking paint, y'all, has got clumps all in it, and I don't know if it's because I don't use them as enough, enough. But it drives me crazy. Good Lord, my trash can's over there. I actually had my trash can sitting to where I was spraying my stuff. Let me take this off. So you can do lighter dots on one of these. You can do darker dots. Look at that big old clump. Go ahead and get out of there because I'm gonna throw that sucker away. Um, when you're doing something, painting something, y'all, you can do whatever shades you like. Um, but I'm just gonna go ahead with a lighter color pink. And I'm gonna go ahead and put a big old dot here. So this design came from Miss Teresa from Cut and Dry. She does offer the blank cutouts. She's got several different cute designs on her website. So if you've never heard of her, you are missing out. You definitely need to go check her out and see what all she offers. She had a really cute um, patriotic one, y'all, that had the um, initial cutout inside of the star. I mean, that thing was super duper cute. I loved it. And I'm sure there's several over there on her website that I haven't even seen her post on her Facebook yet. So definitely go check it out and let me know what y'all think. I don't know if Miss Teresa takes custom orders or not when it comes to the actual cutouts. But if you see something over there and you're like, hey, you know, I would like this, but would like it this way. Miss Teresa is so easy going. I'm sure you can talk to her. And find out you know what she can do for you but since this is laser cut she does have really like etches like the um, laser etch lines on here so you can see kind of like where you paint that um, but it also has the black edge from where the laser burned it at so you don't have to worry about like painting your edges which I've kind of gotten out of painting my edges anyway, just because sometimes things, 
that you start off doing what wasn't really necessary to begin with. And as you can see, I'm not going to go too far over because I'm actually going to do a black and white frame around that. But I do think I need to have... It kind of looking like I've got a dot there. Now I'm just going to come back and I'm going to put another coat. I'm going to look up in a minute, y'all, and see if there's any questions. I'm trying to paint this kind of fast, y'all. <coughs> because I know it's late. It's already 8 o'clock. And I already bought 8 or 9. So, I don't want to keep you on here. Late, and I know it's the weekend. It's Friday, y'all. I'm sure watching somebody paint a flamingo is not, was not on your list to do to, of things to do tonight on your Friday night. So, I'm just going to try my best to get this done as quickly as possible. All right, so there's our dots so far on this body. Now, even if you want to, I can dip right back into like that darker pink. Just kind of go around a little bit on my dots. Just gives it a little bit of a little pop and this is so light that you probably can't really see it on the camera but I can definitely see it in person y'all okay so there's our dots now what I'm gonna do is we're gonna get his cute little legs here I'm going to do his legs I don't want them orange orange y'all so I'm going to do them y'all may think I'm weird because I don't want them orange orange so I'm going to do this bright salmon I mean it's kind of like an orange but it's kind of a I don't know kind of a peachy kind of orange so I'm going to use that to do his legs, and then I'm going to use that other coral, um, this coral color, to do his, some stripes on his legs. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this in. If I don't dip it into the wrong paint. And notice I'm trying, I'm not just going like up and down because if I go up and down on this area because it's really, these little legs are thin, what could happen is I could get a very thick coat like ridge going down the edge of my, my legs here. And since I've already got those black edges, I'm trying to keep that as clean as possible. So I'm taking my paint I'm like pushing it off of my edges. I mean, it would be a lot quicker if I just went straight down it. But I want to keep my, my edges as clean as possible. So, I am making sure that I'm brushing my paint off my edge. Kind of like going down the center. But making sure that I'm not touching my edge. Hopefully that makes sense. See, I mean, this isn't a bad color. I mean, it's, it's an orangey color, but it's not like a bright orange. I don't know why. I, didn't, I just don't want to use a bright orange. I hear my kids out there, y'all. My husband's not home yet, so they're kind of defending for their self outside right now. So there's no telling what I'm going to get off of here and go to. Lord help me. Those are some busy, busy youngins, y'all. 
Let me see this bright salmon. Maybe I will use a bright orange on his nose. So we'll see. I'm going to go ahead and give this a quick little dry. that brush off because I want to use that same brush to add my other lines. It's not rinsed out really, really well, but you know, you can kind of damp it off with that paper towel, kind of just wiggle it around in that paper towel to get most of that paint off. And now I'm going to grab, I think I'm going to try this coral, y'all, and see if this is going to be a bright enough or a shade different that's going to make it pop. And I'm just going to do stripes. I'm going to stripe his little legs up, y'all. And I'm just doing it. I'm not going to... I don't know. Do I need to go over? Do I go in his little circle there? Why not? Here we go, y'all. I'm doing it anyway. I'm going to go through that thing. This right here color might be a really cute color to do. Um, to do on his, I'm just going to do his feet too, y'all. I'm going to put stripes down on his, on his foot too. We're going to stripe this sucker up. So there we go. We striped him up pretty good. Okay. See the stripes on his little legs? Then we will do some outlining and stuff with the black and bring all of that extra goodness out. Let's, let's do orange. Let's do a bright orange, I guess. Let's Oh, y'all. Okay. So this is like one of my favorite oranges. It's the Spice Pumpkin by Deco Art. If you've never tried the Spice Pumpkin by Deco Art, you probably need to grab you some because we, of course, we've got fall coming up. And this is a really good color for pumpkins. Its coverage is really good. Um... Hey, Jenny. Thank you. Welcome, welcome, girl. So I'm going to use that bright orange. All right, now that I see it here, I'm going to mix that coral in there, too. Now that I see this, I'm kind of wishing I might have would have did my my legs the bright orange it probably would have made it pop a whole lot more so now lord have mercy i'm having regrets i'm having regrets just gonna add some of that lighter color just kind of blend it in okay so there's that now, while all of this is drying really good, I'm going to move it over here, and I'm going to do my initial. All right, I'm going to use a makeup sponge. Thank you, Regina. Um, see, that's what I love about you. You explain why and how. Oh, Miss Terry. Hey, Grace. Um, Doesn't matter what time it is, Terry. Girl, I love you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Miss Sandy. 
Oh, my nose is longer on y'all. Can't wait until I can paint again, recovering from Oh, Michelle. Well, I hope you have a fast recovery, girlfriend. Okay. All right. So, I'm going to use my makeup sponge. I'm going to grab my fancy little um, paint palette here. And I'm going to use my Bahama Blue, y'all. And I'm going to do my initials in the Bahama Blue. This is really, this is kind of small, and using a paintbrush, you're probably going to get it all over your edges. So I think using a sponge is probably going to be the quickest and probably the easiest, unless you can find the perfect color that you want to use in spray paint. But y'all be sure to go check out Miss Teresa over there at Cut and Dry. She has, she does a lot of whimsy designs that is super duper cute, y'all. I just love Miss Teresa. She is part of our inside scoop too, and we just have fun together. <laughs> she is, um, she's actually kind of, she lives pretty close to me, so she's kind of, I like my local person here. I'm going to go ahead and kind of do this kind of thick, so maybe I won't have to come back and put another coat. Oh, I hear the cold wheel going. This color is going to really pop on that pink, y'all. And I'm just bouncing this makeup sponge around. If you have a regular, like, dabber or dauber or um, the round sponges, you can also use one of those to do this. But I have one of these makeup sponges right here beside me, so I'm going to use it. Alright, so there is my C. I know that's backwards. Um, most of the time I just let these dry, y'all, and I throw them away. I'm very wasteful when it comes to these makeup sponges because they're not really expensive. You get them from like the Dollar Tree. So I'm going to give this a quick little dry. Let me see. I might can find her. I just posted cut and dry link to her Facebook page in the comments here. So if y'all want to check her out. Alright, so. I'm going to grab my black. And I'm going to go around here. She's got a circle etched around this initial. Um, so I'm just going to take my paintbrush and I'm going to go around right there. Oh, Joey's home. He's got the line wheel going. Now, it was raining a while ago, so I know the ground's pretty wet. And he's going to cut grass. I'm telling you. I don't know about that man sometimes. Alright.
I'm not in the camera, y'all. I know it seems like I'm far away for some reason today. I'm going to go ahead and just get the whole edge up here on this. I feel like I need to. Now let me straighten this out just a little bit. I think I need to make that a little bit more wider. There we go. Now I've got a little area right here. I think I need to make a little bit wider too. Oh, Lord have mercy. All right, we're going to give this a quick little dry. And then we're going to add some white stripes on that. So let's go ahead and give it a, a dry. Oh, yeah, Miss Vicky. She likes flamingos. Y'all say flamingos or flamingos? I think I, I, I say flamingos, but I, I think some people say um, like flamingos, like flamingos, which I know my punctuation is not normal anyway. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to grab my white, and I'm going to do white stripes around in my black. I'm about out. Do y'all know that I have not, y'all are going to fall out, but I have not been to Hobby Lobby in y'all in, in a couple of months. Can y'all believe that? I mean, it's been a while since I've been to Hobby Lobby. With our kids playing travel ball, and then Eli was doing rec ball, then it was all stars, and then Zoe's, you know, both of having two kids playing travel ball, I'm telling you, that kind of takes up all of our, our time. I mean, like, our weekends are basically gone. Because if one's not playing in a tournament for travel ball, the other one's got a tournament. Um, I got a little slamming with that line there. And it's just, barely have time to keep the house going here. one thing about doing the black and white lines in a circle because if you don't watch it you're going to be like starting to go into a slant like this one right here is kind of going to a slant so I'm going to try to straighten it up or it might just be me y'all I might just start going into a slant Right now. All right. So there's our black and white there. How stinking cute is that? I haven't been to Hobby Lobby in a year. In a year, Miss Vicky, I'm not far behind you, though, girl. It's been it's been a while, like a a while since I've been to Hobby Lobby. I'm gonna grab up my tiny little paint pen. Do I not have one open? I thought I had one of these. I do, no I don't. Oh well. So Miss
Teresa did this really cute little eye on hers. So I'm going to do that really cute little eye on mine as well. Just like that. And then she did like little lashes to kind of make it look like his little eyes closed. Alright, so I'm going to come here with my black paint pen and I'm going to trace around my flamingo. And on these, I'm trying not to touch my white, y'all. There's little lines here that you can go by to see exactly where you need to go around tracing your flamingo. That was still wet. I should not have went on that, but I did. But I did, and I should have put a wiggly line like right there, so I'm gonna do that there. All right, so we're gonna come down here. This comes around. Okay, so I kind of went and I made this one on top. I'm going to go that way and put it on top. But I think I boo-booed, made a boo-boo there because I think this leg's supposed to be on the bottom. Like behind this top leg. But it's okay. You can either come and put a little wiggling line here and there just to give it some different little things going on. All right, y'all. So this is what we've got so far. Cute little flamingo. Um, of course, I think it needs some white. I think I'm just going to grab up my paint pen, y'all, and I'm going to do... I'm gonna do the white with my paint pen. Um, oh, look at there. I splashed that white paint pen everywhere. I'm just gonna kinda like go around my dots. Just like that. Then you kind of come and trace around like where your black's at if you want to. I mean, being that I just did the dots though, I really don't think it's necessary. But um, if you want to, you can. And then I'll, my black's not dry. I need to let that dry. So I just got some on my paint pen. So let's give it a quick dry. And Miss Michelle, Miss Vicky says, I know to fill in Miss Mary. Let's see. Um, because I want everything. Uh, you must be talking about like going to Hobby Lobby. Yeah, it's kind of hard for us creative people to go to Hobby Lobby and not want every stinking thing we see, y'all. So if that's you, just know that you are absolutely normal. I'm also going to come and I'm going to put some white highlights on my initial here. Just like that. 
and I'm going to use super glue to attach my initial right here. So, and I had to go get my super glue, y'all, from out the yard. Wonder which one of my kids had my super glue out in the yard. There's no telling. Now, Miss Teresa used some little tack nails, I think it was, to attach hers. So let me make sure I've got this straight, because I want my initial to be straight. And then we're going to put this like that. You kind of just look at it, make sure it's as straight as you can get it. I got to do some cleanup, y'all. I just got white in where, where I smeared my white because it wasn't dried yet. So what happens when you're trying to rush something good, y'all? All right, y'all. There's our cute flamingo. And I just used my super glue, the Gorilla super glue. Hey, Miss Brenda. You love the choice of colors. Thank you, Miss Mary. All right, so this is it, y'all. So we've got, this is a very whimsy, fun little design with the stripes and stuff on his, his stripes on his legs. It's not noticeable, like, it don't just like pop out at you, but you can totally, you can see them, especially more in person than you can from what I can see on the camera. So, yep. I was thinking cute. This is the back. You can actually look on the back too to see if you got it centered. I've actually got more of my wood coming up on this side. But from the front, it looks pretty center to me. So I'm leaving it as it is. Plus I use super glue, so it's probably no taking it off anyway. All right, ladies, I appreciate y'all hopping on here and chit chatting with me. Um, I hope I've answered Miss Sheila's question and Miss Jerry's question to where it was enough to help them out. Um, if y'all ever have any questions on door hangers or business, y'all, I will help you out as much as I can. Um, I've got to do, I was going to do a duck, not a duck, a bee today, but unfortunately it started raining, so I didn't get it, get, get it cut out. Um, so as soon as I can get that cut out, probably Monday, I'm going to aim for Monday. Um, I will be back live painting that, and um, if you have any questions between now and then, or if you think of anything, I'm going to do a post, so if you put your questions under that post when I pop on here live, that's where I'm going to try to answer all of your questions. Um, again, y'all, this is from Miss Teresa from Cut and Dry. She does do the blank cutouts, so um, be sure to go check her out. And until next time, y'all, y'all have a great and safe weekend. Thanks so much, ladies.